Okay, um, so yeah, I just wanted to make a video <clears throat> before I didn't end up making a video today. Um, but we'll be doing Guild War, but I wanted to show a few things. Uh, let's go see, where were we? Um, as you can see, I'm in Legend right now, but uh, not gonna, probably not going to be here for that long, considering my defense isn't really up to par. Uh, because as you can see here, everyone in Legend is just running around with... Um, <clears throat> what's her name? Uh, new Angie and I've been grinding her out all day and it's been really annoying <laughs> um, Bottom line was I just wanted to show off I guess uh, yeah kind of show off a little bit that um, I'm in the top 10 so when people look at uh, defenses or whatever and they're like oh let's go see who's in the top 10 and there I am um, I was actually all the way up here at top 3 but like I said my defense can't sustain that and I got up to how many points did I have? I got up to about 250 points, uh, and then this guy, uh, 450 points, and this guy up here had already had this 513 with this team, um, and I was just kind of like not feeling it, like getting that many points, because it already took me forever to get up here, and I'd have to win like four games in a row, and, and as you can see there, my win streak, is my win percentage is only 80%. So I'd be losing every so often, and then I just got kind of tired. So I stopped at three. I got the little uh, Skystone reward, so as you can see here. Uh, I really wanted to reach uh, number one, but I think, funnily enough, what the best time, if you want to, for those of you, for some tips out there, if you're a, a champion player, you can you can do what I'm doing now. You can, you know, you can make it all the way up here. Uh, the best times to do this, though, are probably during hunt events when no one else is playing arena. Uh, if they're all hunting, I mean, obviously you should probably be out doing your hunt events as well. Um, but if no one's attacking because they're all farming hunts all day, then, you know, it'll be easier to just grind all the way up here. Especially, like, at the beginning of the week on Monday or Tuesday or whatever. I think it was, I guess it was Monday or something. Um, that we did have a buff event. Uh, you could have just, you know, made your way all the way up to Legend and not cared too much. Um, of course, you'd probably get knocked out once everybody came back. Like, all the Legend players woke up. Um, but yeah, still, like, if you want to just, like, because these are the promotion rewards, like, as soon as you hit these ranks, you get these. So I'm missing about 2,800 Skystone in general. Now, am I going to, am I going to finish in Legend? I don't know. Um, we'll see. I'd like to have it, uh, last time we missed it out, we missed out on it, but, um, hopefully this, this, this time we can, uh, when the, when the arena resets, uh, I can have... The 1000 sky stones that says I made it um, a week in legend and I'm kind of a legend level player uh, Just depends on how much effort you want to put into like doing it. But yeah, so like I said when I came here um, One of my guild mates right here actually Nosk uh, He was like It's okay. Like, hey, I think now is a pretty good time to be pushing because a lot of them are kind of like It's just it's just kind of easy to get up here. So that's why I decided to get up here. Um, I wanted to show this earlier when I was in third place, top three, but um, that's fine. It's not that big a deal. As you can see here, funnily enough, you can see here that like you can't see a lot of like the top like uh, legend RTA players. Like I don't know, at least from what I've seen, like you watch like Warbots videos or um, uh, he's not really in legend as much anymore. He's still he's, he's kind of working to get him back there, but like uh, shuffles or whatever. I don't see him that often, but you know. Um, I don't watch that many streams for just pure RTA, so that's that. Um, but yeah, I think my defense might be better once I just put new Angie on there, because I, I like I, I realize after grinding a bunch, um, like you'll hit new Angies and you'll just be like, ah, just like I can beat a bunch of the teams, but she's just like always so boring to play, and it's just like soul grinding. Um, it's like soul sucking to just have to fight her over and over and over again, and like. You can never just bring the same team into New Angie. You always have to like have a different team for different like like she's in all the teams, but then every team like one thing changes between them, and now it's like suddenly you have to build a new team to like deal with that. It's super annoying. Uh, so as you can see here, we're we're attacking really late into the guild war, and uh, the guilds are still or, and the towers are still up, which basically means we're probably going to lose this guild war but also it probably means that like they're very strong and we can kind of look down here and see that our our defense was destroyed basically um so they kind of did what i was worried they were going to do and you know they just did it anyway uh which was the landy thing uh we took off 
made Chloe specifically so we wouldn't just get landed, but <laughs> we ended up getting landed anyway. So I have to figure out some way to deal with Landy. Um, I do like these two. Uh, I do like. I mean, I like the, this team in concept. But if they were able to do this, then you know, if they were able to do this, then you know, it's kind of whatever. Um, of course, CR and all this stuff that they had here was just way too much to deal with, and like extinction kind of just made made Chloe irrelevant. So I'm gonna have to figure out something else to do here. Uh, what I think would be pretty interesting to do is probably just put new Angie here as soon as she's finished, and then just have her like. <clears throat> be super irritating, but that kind of go kind of conflicts with uh, Landy, so I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. Um, but yeah, so there's that. So let's just kind of I don't know. I don't really have high hopes for this guild war. Of course, Nosk succeeded because uh, he's probably one of the better people in our guild. Um, this team is kind of interesting. I'm probably just gonna bring in Cesarato and have him deal with these two, and then um, I have to figure out some way to deal with his damage because he's gonna kill us um, if I just try doing that. Uh, but yeah, so obviously, as we said last time, I, I kind of made a mistake. I guess yeah, kind of a mistake. But like, one of the higher DPS single target DPS units is obviously Cigarette, um, but my Cigarette's not built. Uh, to PVE or PVP, it's only built to PVE. Um, but you can just kind of take her out and use her here anyway, right? It's not like that hard. Um, but I guess maybe we can try that here and, and see how that goes. Um, so up here, I'm probably just gonna take. Let's see. How about we do. Oh, this isn't a yeah. This is not a this is not a very good team, but because I want to bring him and uh, where is he? Where is she? him and and where is he? The kickmaster over here somewhere. There he is. I want to bring both of these, but this isn't a very good idea because like he is well. The thing is, she's gonna S three, and then he's gonna counter. Uh, and then he is gonna boost himself forward and then kick her, and she'll die. But then after that, he's basically just gonna die because he can't cleanse. Like the only AOE is gonna be his AOE. He's gonna do it right after, and I won't be able to S two to cleanse that. So he's just gonna be useless after the initial like killing her. But I think she's like so important to kill that I might just bring him. Um, and then I guess if he dies from like fighting him. Um, He'll focus his S1s and S2s on him, and I can just throw him back. Uh, the question now is, what else do I want to bring? I kind of need someone to bait in to bait in the the Violet. Hmm. I guess what I could do. Yeah, that's not very good either. Yeah, because here, here's the other problem. If if I use him to just kick. Tywin in the face, um, she's gonna loop around and then just S1 us with him, right? So she needs to be the first one to die. Uh, hmm. But I need someone to bait. Uh, this is a good idea. This seems kind of stupid. No, nah, it's probably not something I should bring. <laughs> I kind of want to bring uh, Fighter Maya, but she's just going to die. Um, I already know she's going to die. I will be right back. This is going to take a while. I actually have to think about this. Okay, um, so we're back. Um, I am going to try something. So this is, this is banking on too much RNG, but let's just kind of see what happens. So what I'm going to do is, theoretically, she's going to go first. AOE everyone. Now he's gonna send the debuffs back, but he also has Ayala's violin, which means um, theoretically he's gonna strip a buff. The thing I'm trying to work on stripping is his. If if he hits him, if he hits her, and him, she'll strip his evasion, which means that with him I can just kick him in the face, and then um, he'll die. And then dealing with these two isn't so bad. Um, and then having him just hit him in case we don't get enough CR or something, just have him dump his damage into him. 
Um, yeah, that's about really all we can do. Actually, I have to go change an artifact on Gberg. <laughs> okay, we're back again. Uh, so down here, I am probably just going to bring in what I always bring. Um, well, actually, not what I always bring, because I am going to bring... Uh, where's... Uh, you. And I'm going to bring... Um, where are you? Rem. And I'm going to bring um, her. So basically her job is just to one-shot him or reset his cooldowns, whichever one happens is okay. Uh, and then he'll follow up and then either kill him and, you know, damage them too. And then um, her counters are going to keep doing whatever they do to her. Um, that's all really I can do here. Um, so let's just kind of see what we can do. I think the problem with the second one is uh, we're going to take way too much damage from that, um, from her. Because usually I bring a healer when I fight against her, but we'll see how this goes. Okay, so this happens. Okay, so let's see what we can... Okay, so we basically, the the one thing, you know, the opposite of what we wanted to happen, happened there. Um, I guess, well, not the opposite, but you know what I mean? Like, we expected uh, to hit him, and I don't think it would have stripped him anyway, um, because he has this barrier. The fact that the evasion is in between the barrier and the, the immunity means that it wouldn't get stripped no matter what, because I don't, I, I always forget every single time. Uh, what side gets stripped? So if, if he's gonna get stripped, is it is it the barrier or is it uh, the immunity? I don't remember. I think it might be the immunity, but I'm not sure. Um, so I guess in this case, we can either just gamble and try to hit him with the S3, or um, or just kill her. And I think I'm just gonna kill her. Um, I really should have taken the gamble, but it's fine. So she's dead. Okay, so he's on proof. I used to have him on Warhorn, and I just like that's what I went to go swap proof so he could survive this because he was either gonna die or just it doesn't really matter if he doesn't like die, he would have just gotten dumped on anyway. It's kind of interesting that they're both like that. Um, okay, so I took the immunity off, which means that oh no, actually, he took his turn, so I guess I didn't strip anything. Um, let's hit him with this. So hopefully we're gonna find out here which one gets stripped. If I strip, which I did not strip, which that kind of sucks. I will punch you. Oh wow, he didn't die. And he died. Um, hopefully we can just hit you at some point. Give everybody an attack buff. He is at how much HP? Oh, he's very squishy. But we don't have the speed to keep up with him, is the problem. Oh, come on. Strip, strip, strip. He cannot strip to save his life. It's starting to piss me off a little bit. Um, I have like 80% on that, which is pretty insane. Um, let's see if we can just raw hit him with this. And we missed. Okay, that's fine. I mean, we can't really expect more, right? It's like... Oh, I can't believe we hit him. There we go. <laughs> so we just lucked our way through that. Um, which, you know, that's fine. Um, like I said, the thing about him was that he just does the damage he does no matter what. So it's kind of like, it's not safe damage, mind you, but, you know. It's just that, like, the evasion doesn't affect him as much because uh, he doesn't crit anyway. And he's just like, the damage he's meant to do is the damage he's meant to do regardless. Okay, so as you can see there, uh, we took insane amounts of damage from that. Um... One of the things that, like, Kisei is kind of interesting to me is that she doesn't, like, and here goes this. Despite being water and despite being, um, like, being a very high damage dealing unit, she does not do basically anything to, um, to, uh, Charlotte here. Uh, we get 30 to 30% 30 def pen on this. Um,. I'm just worried about it uh, killing us, so we're just going to do this here. Uh, of course, she got the counter, so she's going to hit twice, and she's going to die. <sighs> so welcome to uh, the symbol of unity. That's very interesting. To not have... So I guess we can just ignore her for a while. If she counters, we're probably not going to kill her. Okay, so she doesn't counter, and we get to kill her. Cool. Um, so she's gonna AoE us right now, but that's not too big a deal. 
Okay, so now we have actually, yeah, we're not gonna have the the soul burn in time. Um, let's see if this kills her. Oh, actually, ooh, I'm stupid. I should have soul burned that, but it's fine. Okay, cool. So she died. So we barely um, got out with the skin of you know through the skin of our teeth there. Um, if she had taken her turn, her S3 was up, and she was probably going to land. Because if she killed him, that's not that big a deal, because her turn was up, and she was probably going to kill him with the S2, with S1 two, S into S1 combo. Um, that's that. And you can see my uh, Kisei is not, my blue Kisei is not uh, max friendship, so I'm missing Molas, so I'm missing damage, right? Um, but she still did her job. Like, like, the damage to me with Kisei has always been kind of like a bonus, so if she kills something, then, you know, even better. Uh, but if not, then, you know, it is what it is. So this, obviously, you can tell is already basically almost impossible for my account. Um, is this impossible in general? Not necessarily, but it's not something I really want to go up against with my account currently. Hmm. Do I want to just like... I don't know what to do down here either. This would be pretty good, I think. Um, since we're going to get silenced by Broman, uh, we don't need him. I mean, obviously you want him to like deal with this, but like, um, there's not really much we can do about that. So let's take... Huh. Well... I will come back and see if I want to fight this tower, um, just because this, this top one, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what to do against this. Um, but if I figure it out, I guess. Um, well, I, all right. So let's let's look at let's let's go through some thought process of how to deal with this team because it, there's ways to deal with it. I'm just not sure I have enough damage, but um, yeah. So here, here's one thing that I, I'm thinking about doing. Um, we're going to let him stay here. And what we're going to do is bring... Um, where is she? Her. So we're going to bring you. And then I'm going to bring... Um, where is he? Uh, this guy. Okay, so here's the thought process behind this team. And I've used this a few times on, on Arena when, when I got when I grinded all the way up there. Um, the idea is that she's gonna she's gonna do a non-attack skill, so nothing's gonna happen. They're all just gonna get stripped and everything. The next person who should go should be him, right? Or not not him. Uh, well, theoretically it should be him, but he could he's probably on counter set, so it's probably gonna be him. But the thing is, he's gonna hit her, and then she's gonna cleanse whatever boost forward. Um, her job after that is to do whatever she does best, right? She just kind of goes in there, s threes, and and hits everyone theoretically. Uh, of course, she's going to get her little skill, skill nullifier up, so you know I might just S1 or something. Um, but then as soon as he takes his turn, he's going to cleanse the unbuffable, the blind, and the um, the silence from her. So that the, the unbuffable and the silence from her, and then the blind from him. Uh, and then with hit, once he's there, I can just like kick him in the face, or her in the face, whichever one. Um, and then give everyone the bear, or yeah, kill her. And then he can, you know, do whatever. So this is kind of like the team I would take into this, but I'm still not very confident in this team. Um, yeah, this is not very awe-inspiring. Now, the other thing, let's see. Yeah, I mean, this is like the best I could probably do. Like, there really isn't anything else that's worth bringing. Um, because, like, he at least will guarantee me the one-shot on either her or him. Uh, not even guarantee it, because if he's on counter, I'm not going to one-shot him. Um, but I'll, you know, do just significant amounts of damage. And the problem, the thing, the thing being that like we can kill him and these two will get the barrier from him. Maybe not him, but these two at least. And that's kind of what we want. Uh, so down here, let's figure out who we're going to replace Crow with. Um, what units do I have that are worth bringing into this? Uh, I, I actually kind of feel like bringing her into this because this looks like, a, like it'd be really funny. Um, but I really probably should bring, I mean, I feel like I should bring some kind of, uh, violet counter. And I think what I'm going to do is bring you. Um, yeah, let's, let's just see what happens. Uh, it's not that big a deal if we lose. 
Uh, like I said, I already, I'm already kind of feeling pretty good about like at least hitting legend and being you know top three. Okay, so we we actually got the good rotation because Arby's going next, which is actually what I wanted. Okay, so now Arby, now Arby's pushing up forward, um, him and her. So now we're taking first turn essentially. Um, what I want to do here is. I'm actually gonna kick him in the face. Well, yeah, so he's gonna die from this, theoretically. Yeah, he should die from this, let's go. I do kind of feel like, um, let's, and then we'll hit everybody. With this. I do, it's fun, funnily enough, I do kind of feel like, um, I forgot. What I was, uh, oh, I do kind of feel like he'd be like a little overpowered. There we go. I do kind of feel like he'd be a tiny bit overpowered if um, ML Kawazu could, like, if his cleanse was every turn, right? If I could, if I could S two right now again, like that would be kind of strong. Um, I do feel that, but it's not that, uh, not that big a deal. I don't know. I, I'm always of the mentality of like. Just try it, see what happens, right? Which you know, and there we go, we lost. So, this is this is this is what happens when you're the when you're in that mentality of try, just ha see what happens, because um, <laughs> nothing good ever happens. Um, so, <sighs> what happened there? We kind of we kind of didn't go as well as we could have in terms of our turn order, because what really should have happened was he wasn't supposed to kick him yet. He was supposed to kill her, and then. Yeah, that was kind of my fault mainly. Yeah, no, that was my fault. What I should have done was killed her, not proc his thing yet, um, and then her. She would have taken her turn, and I really need like I was. I should have killed him, but I don't think I had enough damage to one shot him with the, uh, with the T Surin. So T Surin was supposed to kill, Arby. Now T Surin's turn is over. Arby respawns, and T Surin is up here, right? So she's right here. And she hits everyone with the S3, and, and RB responds and hits everyone with the S3. Now, when he's going to hit someone, he's going to hit the light unit. But because she has that humongous barrier, it's not going to do any damage to her. Um, so that's where that should have happened. And then his S3 could have been used on, on him or something else, and then, you know, we gone from there. But um, that's kind of, it, it ended up going the way the, <laughs> I ended up messing up there. Um, but yeah, so that, that's kind of the way I should have gone about it. I should have killed her and then dealt with uh, the consequences of, of, of Arby afterwards um, so that she could have the barrier. Okay, so she's not silenced, which is like the only unit that didn't really matter. Um, let's just hit you. We don't want you countering for no reason. Uh, and of course we got the counter for no reason. <laughs> um, uh, wow, that's a two-turn silence. That's hilarious. I was already kind of like thinking about it just because of the way uh, the way she works, the way uh, a new Angie works. I was, I was like, oh, it's a two-turn silence. It's kind of interesting, or it's a one-turn silence. It's kind of interesting too because uh, if I if I had my new Angie built, even she didn't have to be that fast, but just like have her built, um, I would have done pretty good against this team. I, we're not, I mean, like we're not gonna lose necessarily, but um, we still could end up losing, right? But like. It wasn't like guaranteed loss. Not that we are guaranteed to lose here, but yeah. Let's just hit you. And you're dead. Uh, now we get to hit you. Okay, so who are we gonna hit with this? Nobody. Um, so we wanted this so we could do this. I don't think this is gonna kill him, but it's certainly gonna hurt him, which, let's see. Oh, okay, cool. So basically, did most of his HP. Um, so he's gonna S three him, which is fine. I mean, we're probably just gonna lose Crow. Yeah, we're gonna lose Crow on this. Um, let's. Uh, okay, so uh, we missed a few things because uh, uh, I got interrupted. But uh, basically, the idea was that um, this guy here, Violet, uh, just killed him. Uh, this Violet took his turn, hit her, uh, she counterattacked him, 
but obviously he's gonna life steal through that, uh, no, no problem. Um, so we're gonna try to deal some damage here. So that's 11. He healed back 14 and we do another 11. So he didn't heal back um, everything, right? Which is just the main thing is you just don't want him to heal 100% of his HP back um, of the damage you do to him. So he healed, you know, for oh, of course he hits, of course he hits me. Um, so she's dead. Now it's our turn. I'm gonna have to apple. So I apple here and we hit him with the S1. Okay, so we got the attack break, which means that even if he does hit, you know, we have a little bit of wiggle room here. Uh, I think we're gonna die though. Uh, if he hits me. Okay, so we have one more chance. If he hits me, I'm dead. And I think I'm dead even if he doesn't hit me. Yep, so we didn't even win that one, which is pretty annoying. Um, but yeah, so that kind of sucks. Uh, whenever you bring uh, Violet into Violet, it's always just a gamble, right? Like who hits who first or who hits who more? Um, let's just hit you. Uh, yeah, I guess we'll just go into this. I don't really know. Uh, down here, oh, we're already running. Wow, we ran out of units. This this is pretty sad. Um, let's see. So we don't have our RB counter anymore. I really hate going into Ruel's. She's just like, she's not the the hardest unit to beat, but she's always she's never like fun to play against. She's always just more annoying than anything else. Um, so we're gonna go with. Uh, oh, actually, we have Crow. I didn't realize that Crow survived. I thought we lost him in there somewhere. Um, we're going Crow and you, I guess. Actually, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go with um, you. So the point being that um, she's an S3, but we have enough cleanses to deal with that. And obviously, she's going to hit her with the with the with the burns. Um, but you know, like I said, she's going to be the focus of the S3 and the S2 from her. So hopefully, that's enough cleanse. Uh, we haven't used Dizzy in a while, so I'm just going to bring out Dizzy just for because why not? Um, We'll bring you in here again because <laughs> why not? Um, so there's a good chance we just end up losing here because uh, I'm doing some dumb stuff, but like, uh, why not? You know, uh, let's bring should we bring you? Uh, I kind of need a water, I kind of want a water. Um, well, I already have a water right there, but um. The only problem I, I foresee here is Ravi uh, soloing us. I think this will be kind of funny. Is Ken on? Let's go check out Ken real quick. If anyone wants to see what my Ken is, he's like, he sucks right now. <laughs> um, But yeah. Uh, so he's on the Sigurd, which is good. Um, this build. Uh, people want to build 300 like F res Kens, and I think that's fine if you want to do that. Um, but that's like you're gonna need high, super high end gear. Um, of course I'm, I'm missing a lot of defense, which is kind of the main problem I have with him right now. And I'm still working on his gear. Like none of this is finalized except for like this piece here. Like these three pieces right here are gonna stay, but these three pieces are constantly in flux because I just need better pieces. So you know. Uh, but I think 150 effectiveness is where you want to reach. 150, 160. Um. Because that way he resists most people, and you're never gonna resist like new Angie's because people are dumping all their effectiveness into her. Um, so you know, you're never gonna resist them without like making a hundred percent ultra like mega like freaking resistance set. You know what I mean? Like, so we're gonna hit everybody with this. Um, yeah, that, that's pretty good. Okay, so she missed because she's got blind and elemental disadvantage. Okay, so I like I like this. I like where we're going here. 
because then he does this, and then I get to do this, right? This is like my favorite thing in the world right here. Uh, we get to just punch you right in the face. Or we get to kick him in the face. And dead. Okay. So that's cool. Okay, we get the counter. That's cool. And, like, here, here's an example of when it's, like, decent to use him. Because, like, she'll never have enough effectiveness to basically, you know... If he's, like, 150, 160, 130, you know, maybe. Um, but the idea is that, like, she won't be able to, like, um, really cause anything like you know stun him she basically you he won't get stunned this is like the benefit of this situation here um of course so let's not let's just push everyone back um so this team was kind of easy to deal with um and like i said i just wanted to bring in like a fun unit a uh, fun couple of units so i let's see hopefully we don't stun her i really want her to do her s3 which because one, this will happen. So I'll get the counter from Ken. Right? I get the counter from Ken, which is going to heal him back to full, basically. Yeah. And I get this. So then he gets to kick her in the face and she'll basically die. Um, and we'll punch you. So it's always fun. It's always great to be able to use Ken whenever you can. Um... But obviously, you know, Ken is a not a very good unit these days. But like I said, I think like 150 is a good trade-off because you're not getting debuffed by like um, Ravi's. Not that Ravi's like that strong in the meta these days anyway. But like Ravi's, um, you're not getting debuffed by like um, carrots because no one's building super mega high FRS carrots. Um, but you don't bring him into carrot anyway, right? That's not something. That's not a good idea that you ever want to have. Um, on top of that, like, he won't be blinded by Arby's, which a lot of times, if you see an Arby, he's, he's decently fun to bring in Arby because Arby's gonna hit himself twice on Ken. Um, but yeah, so that's that. So let's, let's see how this bottom team works out. Um, but yeah, so like, Ken resists a lot of debuffers, like, he, he re like, you basically... With Ken, you can guarantee you're resisting incidental debuffs, not, like, purposeful debuffs, right? So, like, again, you're you're not resisting, like, F10As, you're not resisting, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, new Angies or nothing. You're not, like, those things are, like, they're too high F effectiveness for you to, like, counter with F-Res and then still have Ken do what he wants to do. Um, but like, you know, at least you're, you're stopping, um, carrots if for some reason a carrot makes its way into the, into the, into the band, into the, you know, into the draft, which it really shouldn't have. That, that's like a failure to, um, that's like a failure on your part if, if that happens. But, you know, you, you resist that, you resist, um, like, uh, Spectre Tenebria's S3, uh, stun, which sometimes that's, you know, you bring, you, you're kind of forced to for like whatever reason you might be forced to like S3. Oh, there you go. S3 a Ken before you S1 him or something like that. Um, so that's kind of what that's about. Let's do this. So, so far we're all pretty healthy. The problem being that uh, he could just hit her at any time, which is obviously bad. Um, so she's going to hit MLCC. Yep. Uh, and then she has this again. Um, but yeah, so that's, that's important to realize is like... You want to, I, I think at least, you want to build your Ken uh, to resist basically anyone who's not like 100 and, you know, whatever million effect resistance or effectiveness, right? Just just enough, basically. Um, which, that, that's going to vary from person to person, of course. And we're going to boost you up. Okay, so we got to kill her right away. Okay. <laughs> As you can see there, so... It's you can kind of see a, a taste of it there, but uh, it's really, <laughs> really irritating to me uh, constantly because I'm always missing Chris with my landing. She's only like 85% crit chance. Um, <clears throat> okay, so she's she's got yeah she's not back at S2 yet. Um, she would have been at S2 if this was RTA because she can. Um... All right, sorry about that. Uh, anyway, um, talking about carrot her she. That S1 that she just did on her uh, would have been an S2 um, under any other circumstance. Uh, or an S3, I mean, because of the way you can soul burn an RTA, but uh, fortunately for us, it was not an S3. So, 
Uh, Carrot, what the problem with Carrot is she's not very good on her own. I mean, she's decent, right? She, you kind of still have to watch out for her. Um, but I don't know. She's just not very threatening. So we need to get we need to hit you. Unfortunately, we got to take that hit, and then we got to. Um... Okay, so this is kind of bad, actually. Uh, we're gonna boost you up. See if we can uh, do this here. So we just need enough damage to kill her, but obviously she's going to be healing and, and being annoying. And she's dead. Cool. So there we go. Um, that's that's skilled one. Uh, but yeah, like I said, Carrot, she's decent, right? If you got nothing else and you've invested a lot into her and, and like you feel like you can't figure out what else to put on your defense, then then she's a pretty good one. Uh, we can see here why we're having such trouble. We're in top forty or in top fifty guild. Which top 50 isn't so bad. Um, top 20 is where it really matters. Um, Free Havoc, Xfinity, Irons, Ruel, 34, all these all these guys um, are always usually in the top 20. Now, if we can we go further? No, we cannot. Um, but that, that's kind of where like, the point is there. Um, but yeah, so I mean, our, our guild's kind of casual. And as you can see there, I'm, I'm you know, as, as good as I try to be, I'm still like... I still got dunked on by both these defenses. I still don't have a solution to this. Um, I think... I mean, maybe when Bellion comes out, she could be a pretty good counter to this because she can be tanky enough to just take their hits and then uh, AoE counter them constantly. Um, stripping and doing whatever. Um, but I still don't think... She, I mean, she's not, I mean, not going to solve everything. She's just going to be kind of interesting to use. Um, and I think, I don't know, I just think having a light AoE counter unit like that, uh, be tanky as possible while still doing decent amounts of damage, especially because, right, they're both squishy, right? Like, in, in terms of this one, they're all very, they're all pretty squishy. I mean, she's a little tankier, um, but yeah, they're, they're all pretty squishy. Uh, he's tankier because he dodges, but if you hit him, then you're going to do a decent amount of damage to him anyway. Um, that's, that's something to keep in mind. Um, yeah, but that's it for today. Um, hopefully you guys' Guild Wars goes a little better. Uh, keep keep some of the things that I, I kind of mentioned when I was picking teams for each each of these in mind, uh, or just in, just avoid them entirely um, is better. So let's take a look at what Nosk the Nosk did here. Um, so let's see. I imagine he went really high F res, um, Ruel and and this guy, but maybe not. I think. Yeah, this is kind of an interesting comp to have taken into this. And I really, that this this bottom team here that he took into this is what I should have taken. Uh, I went too aggressive when I brought the uh, my own rem against this. I should have taken like this to help with the healing. Uh, because like I almost won, right? It was like a 1v1 at the end. Um, and I just didn't have the health to tank that last S3 even through dodge. And if I had her there, uh, she would have basically guaranteed that I had, you know, a little, a little more health going into that last fight. Uh, so that's, that, 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 this is a pretty good team to take down here. So, you know, good, good stuff. Um, just because this is, like, you're probably going to see, I feel, anyway, I'm going to build this team. I'm probably going to put uh, New Angie here. So it's going to be New Angie, Rem, and, and her. Um, and basically, this this same answer will work against those three, right? These two and her. Uh, but because he doesn't have two New Angies, he just went with um, Broman here. Which I, th I still think is a decently viable option. It's just that Broman has to hit you. Uh, whereas New Angie is a non-hit skill. Um, but yeah, so that's that. Uh, hopefully you guys could take something from there and, and, and look at the way I kind of did it and either take something from what I did or, or, or just don't do anything remotely compared to what I did. I think you'll have more success anyway, either way. <laughs> um, but yeah, so that's it for today. And, uh, I think, well, I'm probably gonna upload this today and then, um, do some RTA and, and, and see us getting into champion. Um, if we get into champion and then uh yeah that'll be it for for the recording today but yeah till next time